Welcome to this week's episode of Friday Night Meta. We got a new set on tap here for Magic the Gathering, new Phyrexia, all will be one. We are excited to break things down across all the formats, best of one and best of three that we have. A brand new weekly setup and lineup here for a nice fresh cut in meta. We've gotten about a week, week and a half um, from the new set, so I'm excited because we got a lot going on. So appreciate you tuning in. Thank you for the likes and the subs. As always, other great ways to stay connected on the channel and other great content here as well for you. Now, we do have those timestamps down below where we talk about all these different things that I just mentioned, and let's get moving here to break down standard best of one. So here's what we got going on at an aggregate level right now. Um, we have Azor Soldier still maintaining the top. I'm sure many of you weren't thinking that that was going to be the deck, but that is the deck. We got Mono Red Burn. We do have a new one creeping in here, Selesnya Toxic. This has so far seemed like the best deck coming out, um, swinging for the new Phyrexia set here. We have Mono Black Control, Mono Red Aggro, Mono White Control, Azor's Control, and then Golgari Fight. Now, to be fair, when I first peeked at this few days in, I didn't make a series episode off this because over half the decks were under 50%. I figured you might not want to run them um, if you're focused on that competitive stuff. So I did wait another week here um, in order to maintain and get what we got going on here. Now, as you can see on the right, in terms of popularity, um, that Slesnia Toxic deck is not one of the most popular right now, but it is playing fairly well and holding up. We do have Mono Red Burn and Azura Soldiers still um, dominating that meta. So let's go ahead and pull down here and see what we have going on. We can see the huge changes that happened right after the set release here. Um, lots of things moving. Now, to be fair, this is pretty typical. In the past, when I've done a lot of detailed articles on these as well, typically decks that were surviving before that move into the new set um, as well as season tend to do okay right out of the gate. So, and that's exactly what we're seeing and continue to maintain. Now we start to see that Selesnya Toxic creeping up. We also start to see that Azor's Control creeping up um, as we begin with shifts in the meta along with that Mono White Control there um, popping into best of one. Now here's the win rates over time as our soldiers is actually doing better, um, which again can happen. And then here you can see that Golgari fight um, starting out uh, strong coming down and then here getting a little bit better in terms of that win rate. It was one of those decks that was sub 50. So um, that's where things are at currently for best of one. We're going to leave it here for now um, instead of drilling down in the more competitive space because we need a little bit more time um, for things to settle and give you some more value there. So let's go ahead and move over to best of three. Best of three, we do have Azor Soldiers at, at number one again. Esper Legends, Mono Red Aggro in there. Grixis Midrange, Mono Red or Mono Black Aggro, Rakdos Midrange, Mono White Midrange, and then Jun Midrange. So not too much again in things that have changed up. Um, we do have a couple pieces there that are a little bit different. We can see that when we cut over here. Um, Grixis Midrange still being one of the most popular, falling down and then being played. We do have that Jun Midrange that I was going to mention, and then also our Mono White Midrange um, making some new splashes here, and then a little bit more compression there in terms of popularity. And then since Similar here on the win rates, we do see Azor Soldiers spiking, um, doing well out of the gates, and then additionally here, some of the other things moving around. All right, so that is standard, one of the most impactful formats here for the new Phyrexia All Will Be One review for this week. All right, let's go over and see what we got going on in Alchemy. Probably not too much. So again, we do have some newer decks here, like Mono White Life Gain. Again, however, um, sub 50%. We do have Mono Red Aggro still being one of the most popular. Mono Red Burn, Slice the Enchantments, Rakdos Sacrifice, Mono Black Control, Gruel Werewolves, and the other two. And then here on the right, we do see what the play is looking like. And then here again, we see the cutover differences. We do see that Mono Red Aggro pulling down. And then we begin to see some of these other decks pulling up. Um, and then similar here on that mono red aggro, even though it's coming down, the win rate is going up. So that is best of one. Let's see if we got anything in best of three. Best of three, we got three decks, Grixis midrange, Rakdos midrange, and mono red goblin still. Um, those were the main three prior ahead of time as well. And then there we have it. All right, so let's go ahead and move into Historic. Historic, now we have Azorus Affinity at the top. We got Is It Wizards, Selesnya Squirrel Twin, Mono Green Elves, Mono Red Burn, Mono Red Aggro, Azorus Control, Dimmer Mill. 
Now, is it Wizards again being strong at that 13%? The Mono Green Elves always being a fairly strong deck. Dimmer Mill kind of moving up there and Squirrel Twin in that middle space. Now, here you can see as things have changed and cut over, we've got a little bit of a change in Mono Green Elves. Um, is it Wizards doing okay in terms of popularity? And then again here, um, fairly consistent, except for Azorus Affinity staying strong out of the gate. We do see Is It Wizards kind of taking a little bit of nosedive here over the last week. And then we see Slesnia Angels getting a little bit stronger, or, Sle or Squirrel Twin. And then we do see that mill getting a little bit stronger as well. So um, let's see what we got going on in best of three. Best of three, Rakdos Goblins absolutely killing it. We got Azorus Affinity, Rakdos Midrange, Is It Wizards, Mono Red Burn, Golgari Elves. Mono Green Devotion and Azores Control. So we see a lot of the popularity dropping here to Mono Green Devotion, huge, huge drops from 20 to 13%. And then additionally, Rakdos Midrange doing the same. Here we see things climbing and this also dropping in terms of the win rates there. So very interesting there when we take a look at historic. Let's move into our last best of one and best of three format here with Explorer. Explorer, ooh, very close here between Mono White Humans and Abs and Grease Fang. Um, then additionally, we have Slesnia Angels, Azorus Control, Burn, Midrange, Devotion, and Double Devotion there. Um, Slesnia Angels at the top at 15% played, Mono Green Devotion at almost 12. And then the other two dominating really being Mono Black Devotion, Abs and Grease Fang. So as we look here in terms of the move over, the stuff at the top kind of stayed the same. We see everything else starting to creep up a little bit. Um, and then in terms of win rates, that Mono White Humans really, really skyrocketing in the last week. Um, and then you can see as well, um, Abs and Grease Fang kind of picking up. Um, and then Slesnia Angels kind of staying steady there um, in terms of what's happening. All right, let's see. All right, in best of three, we got Mono White Humans taking the crown. Abs and Grease Fang, Rakdos Midrange, Gruel Midrange, Mono Green Devotion, Azores Control, Slesnia Angels, and then a five color fire deck. Now, as we move down, we can see how these things have trended, which have been some fairly impactful changes. Um, in terms of the new Phyraxia all will be one. We see this here with Rakdos Midrange really going back up. Um, even though it was strong, big dip and a big recovery. And then in terms of popularity, and then some of these other decks moving around here a little bit more, things like that five color fires and so forth. Now we do see that mono white humans really propelling in terms of those wins. And additionally, we see that cruel mid-range as well in this space um, relative to the past. We and last but not least, five color fires dropping off quite a bit and Azorus control moving up as well. So that rounds out our final best of one and best of three format with Explorer. Let's go ahead and check out what's happening in Historic Brawl. In Historic Brawl, we do have a Troxa. A new crown, huge, huge, huge in terms of that commander. Rusko had been dominating. We have a new contender here in the market for Historic Brawl. That is huge news, my fellow Planeswalkers. Now we have Rusko after that, the first sliver. Then Kinnon, Elshnorn, that's big as well to see. Azusa, Goshintai, Azika. Um, and then on the right, you can see that Atrox at 5.3%, which is huge. And Rusko falling down to that 38 so as we move over here, big, big changes in the format. Again, with, with uh, Rusko falling off, we see Atroxa picking up and then Elshnorn in there as well. And as you can see, the win rates definitely changing, get a little bit more compressed in the space, which is big, big news, a huge change. Um, from what we were seeing before. So excited about that one as well. So let's go ahead and pull this all back together, my friends. Thank you for tuning in today. We walk through the brand new breakdown of all the formats, best of one and best of three here with the new release of New Phyrexia, all will be one. Definitely making some impacts. We can see those across the, all the formats in terms of some of the stuff that has changes. Certainly standard, certainly in historic, which is exciting to see as well um, as we do these on a weekly time base. So with that, thank you again for tuning in. Appreciate the likes and the subs. Lots of great ways to support the channel. Thank you to the members as always. And last but not least, if you have questions or comments, please let me know. I'd love to hear from you and feel free to come swing by the Discord server and hang out with the community as well. All right, Planeswalkers, until next week, we do have a ton more content coming your way. Stay tuned. Mithras out.